all. Welcome to After the Show. This is After the Show with For Progress, and I am here with mental health coach. Uh, she's got some letters behind her name. Y'all seen it before. You'll see it down there at the lower third. <laughs> but this is my girl. I told y'all, y'all know I came out the mental health closet and I got a lot of issues that I've been working out in therapy and prayer, okay? Mm -hmm. But it does not hurt at all, okay, to have a friend of 28 years who is a mental health professional, therapist, coach, licensed, pastor. clinical pastoral counselor. See, she know all of her titles. <laughs> but for me, she's my tuta and she helps me in my time of need. Mm -hmm. So we developed this after the show mm -hmm. because, uh, why did we do this? Oh, because that one day I came out the closet, out my mental health closet, and I was like, I got mental health issues. And the lady said, you just came out the closet. And just like yourselves, it has been such a uh, joy to talk to, to, to Nevada. And then people talk to me about like, oh, wow. You're experiencing that, I'm experiencing that. So what I'm gonna do is pass you the cup, proverbially. Thank you, thank you. And take us there, Nevada. Oh man, I am so excited. It is so good to be here with all of you all today. Mm -hmm. On my drive to the studio, I was thinking, what is it that we're gonna talk about? Wait for it. What? You forgot? Just that quick, nah. <laughs> no, it's not collaboration. We're talking about what happens on the other side of the comfort zone? Okay. Okay. When we experience life changes and transitions, sometimes, or most of the time, when we are ready to jump back in and start doing what we know we are purposed to do, yes. we get stuck in our comfort zone. Mm. So my first question to anyone that's willing to answer is, what was it that caused you to stay in the comfort zone longer than you should have? Oh, go ahead. Can I say something? Absolutely. Uh, not not uh, switching up the environment. Okay. Or switching up routines. Okay. Same routines, same environment. Keep you doing the same coping skills. Keep mm -hmm. you doing the same. Mm -hmm. Whatever you, how you deal with your uh, mental health. Right. And. That just leads back to the same habits, same habits, same lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah. That is a good point. If we don't change, we've heard it before, people, places, and things, yeah. we stay in the same the situation. Same. And then we have to look in the mirror and ask ourselves, who is responsible for where we're sitting? Who's responsible for me being in this spot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's actually what took me a long time, is accepting that I'm at fault. Mm. Um, and so it, it, accepting, I wasn't ready to accept the fact that when I looked around me, it was all my doing, even though I wanted to point the finger. Okay. So, um, like, you know, right. this because of this or because of that is why I'm where I'm at. But in all honesty, it was accepting the fact that I lacked boundaries and self-love and self-respect. So that's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the you truth, know? though, but for real. That's a, so when, when I, I, I lacked wanting mm. to accept that yeah so finally when i started to accept that it was mm. at my own at my own hands is when i is that good <laughs> when uh when i accepted that is when i started to really heal yeah okay i think something i can piggyback off is boundaries because not mm. setting those boundaries for yourself mm. you allow others to put those boundaries and allow them to direct where you're going because you didn't secure yourself enough to do those boundaries right and i can say for me that's a big big blocker because sometimes i can i always say i'm a little bit of a people pleaser because mm. I want everyone around me to be happy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that i sometimes put my own happiness aside oh my and so because i do that then i end up being stuck in the same place and watching everyone else around me Ooh, move forward that's right. and then i wonder mm -hmm. why they're moving forward but I gave up my happiness to oh my allow goodness. them to do so that I couldn't mentally, couldn't move forward myself because I had to reprogram myself to mm -hmm. even move forward. Yeah. So even if think I would have said those, again. Yeah. yeah, to even think about it. But if I would have set those boundaries for myself and be like, no, this is not right for me, mm -hmm. it may be right for you, but it's not right for me. Exactly. And allow myself to move forward versus getting caught up again in the environment as well. Mm -hmm. because the environment around me was like, oh, this is what I need to do. And right. it may not necessarily was right for me. That's good. That's, so right. That's good. So to piggyback off of what you just said, what happened to me when I didn't set the proper boundaries and I started blaming others, resentment and bitterness and anger 
set in, but it was misdirected. Mm -hmm. I'm mad and angry at everybody else. Mm -hmm. Instead of looking at myself like Cece just pointed and said, you know what, Nevada, you need to do better. Right. Yeah. That's good. But, I think a big part for me too, um, going being through so much trauma and mm -hmm. you know doing therapy. I've done therapy for several years now, mm -hmm. and it's been very healing and, and going through counseling, getting medications. Mm -hmm. But it was a big thing for me was fear. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. fear is something I've had to learn to embrace. You know because I felt like I didn't belong, or I would have this imposter. Uh, what is it? Imposter, imposter syndrome. Syndrome. Oh, it's so real. Be, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would go into places and I'm thinking I'm less than, or I don't have the degrees and are these different things, but I really needed to do something different. Excuse me. That's what's her. Wow. That's after the show. You good. Imposter syndrome <laughs> so... is so real in in performers. Oh, in performers Jesus. Because yes. why did I get this job? Why did they think I could do this? I don't even know why if I can do this. I can, can I do, do it this. again? Can I do it again? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I have to put myself back out there. Oh. <laughs> All of that. It's a lot. All of that. Yes. It's a lot. Like, uh -huh. it's getting out of your comfort zone. It's so much fear. You talk about it. Mm -hmm. But overcoming that fear and embracing who God made me mm. to be. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to remind myself of that daily. Um, I'm gonna come out of another closet. Watch. <laughs> Go so for it. every for it. show, um, I bring paintings. Wow. But never ever talk about the artist. Mm. But mm. I'm the artist who painted all of these. Wow. But I'm still. I still have that fear of. Is it good enough? What they gonna say? Oh, they probably think that's ugly. I'm not gonna say it's by. You know what I mean? Right. Right. But it's That's a gift real. that God gave me. Mm -hmm. But I don't I don't uh, promote it or say I things about it. It's just like, oh, it's just there. It's in the background. Somebody will notice yeah. it sooner or later. And, you know, no, I'm an artist. Go ahead. Say it one more time. I'm a good artist. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Yeah, Thank you very much. I'm a really good artist. And yes. it, but I, I've had to learn to accept that in myself. Mm -hmm. But even in all of the stuff that people see, it's still that inner Ooh, imposter syndrome, right? That's yeah. right. That's but right. a constant reminding of, no, God made me this. God, mm -hmm. God made me this mm -hmm. uh, creator. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That leads me now to think about the power of thinking. So I'm going to yeah. tap into the wisdom in this young man sitting right here mm -hmm. who I have had the privilege of meeting um, this year and just talk about how when we have all of these flaws that we know that we have, right, or that we perceive that we have or we think that's the way others see us, what can we do? Christopher, to to change our thinking. Can you speak to that? Um, for sure. Um, first off, your thinking is branched off to your beliefs. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, your beliefs are the filters that see your reality. So for an individual to see different, you must begin to believe in different. Believe that, you know, believe who you are or, you know, believe into your potential. Mm -hmm. Then you begin to see it in the physical plane. Mm. And, you know, if you will separate the word thinking, it will say the inking. For your thoughts are the ink that write on the sheet of life. You know, we are the creators in the blueprint of reality. What's going <laughs> you on? You better go ahead. You know, it, yes. it, it all begins with, uh, you know, as what God has given us is willpower, mm -hmm. which is the ability to do. Right. So you have the ability to alternate your thoughts, mm -hmm. you know, to, you know, to choose between that negative or positive, that very instant, that moment where you could choose. Right. right. And it's on you. That's good. You know, so if you were to just reclaim back your power mm. and know that, you know, you are the creator of your thoughts or the director, mm -hmm. you begin to, you know, utilize them well, you know, that's, begin to use them in a positive uh, aspect. That's you know, right. That's true. True. The yes. power of choice, David. Yes. What you got to say about the power of choice? The power of choice. Um, I think it's very powerful. Um, like, so, like when I'm filming and stuff, I feel like I, I'm the one that has the choice to direct, say where I'm gonna cut, mm -hmm. this shot's gonna go in. I believe, you know, and I believe in the end, it's real big because in the end, the final product, it's gonna talk for itself, so. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that beautiful choice. It is. Choices. And Choices. having safe people, mm. all of us being able to sit on this couch right now mm -hmm. and just to have a simple dialogue mm -hmm. is the key to our sanity. It mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. When we suffer in silence oh, and God. when you isolate, mm -hmm. there it's really hard to win battles. Yeah. Really but when you choose to 
take advantage of the trusted people. We can't let everybody know everything, right? But there are certain people that God allows to be in our life for certain times mm -hmm. to be able to pour into mm -hmm. and to be able to receive from. And that's the benefit of the couch. Collaboration. Mm -hmm. Let's you know? do it. Yeah. Let's do it. So that's great. I love it. I think sometimes that um, isolation, it become, well, s sorry, that sometimes we can isolate ourselves and not intend to because mm. I just needed a little solitude, right? Right. I just right. need a little alone time. Mm -hmm. And then the alone time, I ain't control my thinking. I start making different choices. And then now the next thing you know is isolation. Right. Everybody cut off. Mm. I don't want to talk to nobody. And then that goes back to being comfortable in that. Ooh. Being comfortable in yep. the isolation. Mm -hmm. That there's no, but there's also no room to grow. Right. That's because right. there's nothing to grab onto because mm. we let everything else go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to be with ourselves. And now it's like, what is tangible around me? Nothing. Too, and there's nothing. It's a very but to get line. out of that pit is a choice mm -hmm. like that it is that quick yep. just to make a choice yeah mm -hmm. it's true mm -hmm. i'm sorry Go no ahead. you're good <laughs> so on the other side of our comfort zone is things like greatness oh yes. yes you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying it's things like opportunity mm -hmm. yes um what else is on the other side of the comfort zone oh you know, millions. Our power. Millions. Hey, I'll Our take power. it. Yes. Our power, yes. Power. Everything you've ever wanted. Oh, mm. every, on the other side of that yeah. comfort zone. Everything that you've ever wanted. Yeah. yeah. To Knowledge. push past. That is beautiful. Knowledge. Knowledge. Because mm. I think oh, yeah. we, we can't educate, we can't grow within ourselves right. if we only are around ourselves to learn from. That's but right. there's knowledge from other people yeah. who's experienced, and now we j we gain their knowledge. So when yeah. you collaborate, when you mm -hmm. collaborate with one another, we it's we connect and we yeah. we grow. Mm -hmm. Connection is important. Oh it goodness. is. It's like the roots, right? Yeah, it, it is very important. Yeah. It's that's energy. So good. Like when you expand your roots out awesome. to others, yes. and you grow. That's where you get like when a tree is underground, mm -hmm. like the roots. They get water from underground. I ain't worried about the water and the stuff. It's <laughs> from under, you know? Yeah. So they're working together. You never even know how a tree grows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and definitely connection is recovery. Yeah. Oh, it's healing like in that. that. You know, like that. I've always heard in uh, a, another documentary that I was watching that, you know, isolation and addiction go well together. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. you know, when you are in connection with others, your recovery comes mm -hmm. in its full form. Yes. And that was the big, biggest healing thing for me was finding mentors and people that I can glean from that inspired me mm -hmm. to see myself. Because a lot of times we get so entrapped of our own thoughts and right. what you know we think we're doing or what we shouldn't be doing or should be doing that we really don't take the opportunity just to be in the moment yeah. and mm -hmm. say, you know what, this is who I am and I love myself in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so I think having that mentorship and definitely working through the mental health of doing therapy and counseling and, and with those things needed. And also too, uh, for my upbringing, it was very taboo. Yes. And you know what I mean? It was like, oh, it you know, it, black girls in therapy was not a thing, <laughs> not a thing at all, <laughs> yeah. not a thing at all. So like really having yeah. to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. you know, Sorry. really to talk to somebody that, and share things that right. I've been holding that were taking too much of a deep root inside mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. um, really helped me really get to know who life truly was. Yeah. Right. So it takes a lot of uh, self-work, but it's so much worth it, yes. you know, yes. to heal and be in recovery. Absolutely. And just that, that also goes back to looking in the mirror, mm -hmm. going yeah. back to looking in the mirror. Sometimes we only look at the negative in ourselves. Yeah. And sometimes it's great to have those people around you to say, no, this is great. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm. That motivation to keep going. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we, 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 that isolation stops us from going, okay, I can do this. Right. Oh, wow. Somebody else believes in me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Someone yeah. else sees the potential that I want to be. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Yes. That's definitely. Beautiful. It's good stuff. It is. <laughs> we have a few seconds and I want to say this about uh -huh. being connected. They don't be afraid to be connected at a higher level. We go. should have three dynamics of connections around us. You have people that you pour into, mm -hmm. you have people that you just kicking it with that's on your level, and then you have someone that's above you that has reached um, their goals or reached or they're living where you want to be. And sometimes we're afraid of that, but those are the people that yep. we need to connect to so that we can continue to go higher.
Definitely. If we just stay here, then, you know, we limit our growth. So when we're connecting, do not be afraid of that next level of connection. In fact, seek that out even the more. Right. So yeah. you can continue to elevate. Woo, woo, woo. Mm -hmm. Hey, now. Mm -hmm. And collaborate. <laughs> and yeah. collaborate. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Don't spill your coffee. I, I know, coffee girl. in the morning, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining us for yes. after the show. This is like where I get my healing, okay? I get to talk to all of y'all, and then I get to talk to the therapist afterwards, okay? Mm -hmm. Good but yeah, this is, this is an amazing, look, this is an amazing collaboration here with Nevada and Free. Yes. I mean, it's, my life. Oh. I would have never met you. I know. You know? I know. Look, I'm all selfish. I I'm like, change my life. You, <laughs> look, you were talking about, you were talking about you. Huh? But <laughs> like, I met you before. I did. I met you at a, um, it was like a grant seminar or yep, something. it was. But when she said, Lenora, you know the taller black lady? Yes. I, that was Lenora. In <laughs> my head, me. I'm like, that's Lenora. <laughs> <laughs> not me at all. And then when you were, I was like, wait, wait, wait. That was the other lady. But I mean, just a beautiful light that uh, you really are. And, and just thank you so much for everything you did to get here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like, this is your harvest mm -hmm. and many, yes. many more. Oh, yeah. So yes. every seed that yes. you sowed, I'm like, look at this guy. Mm -hmm. Look at these. I mean, you guys are just amazing and talented. And you being able to provide that platform. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank it's you. a blessing from God. It is. To be a blessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blessed to be a blessing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank y'all so much. This is After Thank the you. Show with Deanna Brown. Confessing all my faults and problems, y'all. <laughs> But I'm with my girl, Nevada K. King. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me once again. We'll see you next time. Pew, pew. After pew, the pew. show. After the show. <laughs> All right. <laughs>